Lugo. One last check-in before my services are officially no longer required. Thanks. I guess... Uh, Franco pled guilty. It's all over the media. I expected to feel some kind of closure, but... Uh... How are you? You know, before today, there was a person. There was exactly one person in this world who believed in me. And now because of you, because of your stupid plan, I may have lost my Elizabeth. Lulu, everything okay? Yeah, I just got lightheaded. Curtis brought me here to get checked out. It was nothing. Uh, except it was something. We were at the courthouse and Lulu passed out. Well, at no point did I lose consciousness. Well, no, you just lost your balance and a clear sense of where you were. For a second, I was at Franco's arraignment. I got myself all psyched up and when he pled guilty, I i guess I wasn't expecting that. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Franco pled guilty to killing Kiki? and all those other people. That yeah. sick son of a bitch. But Kiki? Anyway, the nurses say her vitals are fine. And Lulu, no one can blame you if seeing Franco like that was too much. No, that is not what happened. I was prepared to see Franco in the courthouse. When the cop went to take him away, I got overwhelmed by this feeling that something was very wrong. I've been wondering, is it weird that I remember part of my attack, but not all of it? Not really. Trauma's like that. Your mind protects you by choosing what you can remember and when. Well, I really wish that my brain would trust me. Because the worst of it, Franco coming at me with a knife, that I remember perfectly. But how I got away, how I survived, the things that I feel like my brain should want me to remember, it's keeping from me. Probably has something to do with Franco's guilty plea. How you figure? Well, by Franco pleading guilty, there won't be a trial. You won't get to hear the case the DA made against him. And uh, you won't get to testify and tell your story for the record. No, I won't. But that doesn't mean I've given up my voice. Sonny. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks for reaching out to me. Uh, if you could excuse us, well, I got some rather sensitive information. What is Whatever you get to say to me, you can say it to Lou. Hey, is this about Dante? Did the Bureau find him? Curtis, is it right if you give us a minute? Sure. Lulu, I'll be right over here if you need me. Thanks. Robert, I already know that Sonny asked the Bureau to reach out to Dante. Were you able to find him? We tracked him to Ankara. Ankara, Turkey? Apparently, as rumor has it, that Raj had gone there and was networking the area. I guess Dante followed him. Mom, how soon can you bring Dante home? Well, we're working on it. It's as much as I can tell you. I'm sorry. Me too. What are you saying? Dante's gone rogue. He's acting as a private citizen. You can't help him? Is that what you're saying? Bureau is hesitant. They don't want to start an international incident. So what you're telling me is they're planning to leave my son out in the cold? 